news everyone, Johnny Depp will be featured in the upcoming documentary Charlie Chaplin. In Man of the World, it's just been a couple of months since Johnny cleared his name and won against his ex-wife in court. Agonizing, painful, and the most humiliating thing I've ever had to go through. I hope no one ever has to go through something like this. I just want Johnny to leave me alone. She had been vocal and had told him to go on with his life and leave her alone and for once Johnny had heeded her advice because he is out there bagging himself roles left and right. As we know, Johnny is a huge fan and admirer of Chaplin's works and is always using what he learnt with Chaplin in his movies. From comedy to drama, such as Benny and June and Pirates of the Caribbean and even Waiting for the Barbarians and Fantastic Beasts. The crimes of Grindelwald is well on his daily life, such as during interviews, making videos and photo shoots. The documentary will focus on the gypsy roots of Charlie Chaplin, cinema legend, musician, and Romani. The documentary still has no date to be released but is expected to be released later this year. The other instance of Johnny breaking records is when the New York Post said Johnny Depp had broken the internet with a surprise online sale of his debut art collection, making more than $3.6 million within hours of announcing it. Johnny had previously shared news of the sale with an Instagram pic of him sitting in front of four of his works. He captioned the pic, now at Hashcastle Fine Art, linking the UK gallery that then told fans, The wait is finally over. We're delighted to announce that the latest signing to Castle Fine Art is the critically acclaimed actor, musician, and artist. Hashtag Johnny Depp. Less than 20 minutes later, the gallery admitted having such a rush of wannabe buyers that its website crashed. Even before the verdict had been announced, Depp went on a musical tour in Europe with Beck. They performed at the Helsinki Blues Festival and in Gateshead near Newcastle in England. They also played concerts in Germany, for example in Offenbach, in the state of Hessen. Right after that tour ended, Johnny Depp was seen traveling to France, the country where he will start filming the movie, Jean Duberry, in which he will play nothing more and nothing less than Louis XV. Until now it is known that this film will be directed and co-starred by the winner of the jury prize at the 2011 Cannes Film Festival Maywin, and then it will be released through the Hulu streaming service. The fact is, Mr. Depp, if Disney came to you with $300 million and a million alpacas, nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on a Pirates of the Caribbean film. That is true, Mr. Robin. Johnny had sworn never to go back to Disney even if they gave him $300 million in alpacas. And with his recent casting, he just proved that he actually did not need them to succeed. Apart from films, the star will be heading overseas for a short tour with the Hollywood vampires, including bandmates Joe Perry, Alice Cooper, and Tommy Henriksen. The band announced the news on Instagram, revealing tickets go on sale June 27th for a tour kicking off in June 2023. After canceling a previous tour due to COVID-19, the group will be back on the road and the first stop will be in Oberhausen, Germany, on June 20th. The shows will wrap by June 30th with a performance in Mainz, Germany. With the recent success and records Johnny is breaking, it's quite obvious that Johnny did not lie when he said the op-ed article that Amber had written had destroyed his life, because in this short period after the trial he has achieved more than all those six years that he had to suffer from Amber's false allegations. Now that he is free of all those allegations and is slowly being accepted back to the society, Johnny has decided to live his life fully as he deserves. While he's busy getting his life together and proving to the world he was always a star, his ex-wife has recently sold her home in Yucca, and her recent housing is still in the dark. She seems to have sold the home because she has $8 million debt that she should be paying Johnny. Be nice everyone, karma exists. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.